in kindergarten. This week we are going to be talking about how to build a house and who helps build a house. I have a friend named Mr. Sam and he just had a new house built. Oh, how long has it been? It's been more than six months ago. But anyway, his house is so cool. I got to go in it when it was being built. I got to see how they poured the foundation. First, they had to dig out a basement. Then they poured the foundation. And then they had to start putting up all these posts before they could put up walls. Kindergarten. I walked upstairs when there was like no upstairs. It was crazy, kindergarten. If you have ever been in a house that is being built, make sure that you are nice and safe. Make sure you wear closed-toed shoes. Make sure you have a nice hard hat on. And of course, make sure that your grown-up is with you and that you have permission to walk around that house. Have any of you ever had a house built? I know some of you have had houses built before. So our question this week is, who helps to build a house? Who are the people that help build a house? Mr. Sam had a whole crew that helped build his house. There were people to dig out the basement. There were people to lay the foundation. There were people to put up the posts and the walls. There were people to do the roof. There were people to do the painting and to do the floors on the inside. It doesn't just take one or two people to build a house. It takes a whole bunch of people to build a house. So that's what we're going to be reading about this week, kindergarten. Let's check out what our comprehension skill says. It says, I can describe the setting. Ooh, do you remember what setting means in a story, kindergarten? The setting means that that is where the story is taking place, where it's happening right now. I know for a lot of us, our stories are taking place at home, and that's a great place to be, kindergarten. I like hanging out at my house because I have a nice, cozy couch. But if Miss Stoller were to put on a spacesuit, and if Miss Stoller were to climb into a rocket ship, where do you think Miss Stoller would be going? What would be my new setting? I'd be going to space. I would be going to space kindergarten. I have my space suit on. I'm in my rocket ship. I would be going to space. What if, what if I grabbed a towel? What if I grabbed some sunscreen? What if I grabbed my water bottle? And what if I grab my sunglasses? Where do you think my setting would be then? Where would I be going? I have my towel, my sunscreen, my water bottle, and my glasses. I would be going to the beach. I use that towel, I flop it out. That's my favorite word this week, kindergarten. Flop. I flop it out and I like to lay on it. I have my sunscreen to protect my skin from the sun. I have my sunglasses to protect my eyes from the sun. And I have my water bottle so that I don't get dehydrated in the sun. So kindergarten, what is your favorite setting? What is your favorite setting? Mine is probably the beach right now. That's all I have on the brain is the beach. So what is your favorite setting, kindergarten? All right, let's go check out our two new words this week because we are talking about how a house is built and who helps to build a house. Maybe you want to build a house on the beach. Let's go check out those words. Kindergarten, instead of teaching you two new words, silly Miss Stoller, we're going to make a guess in our brain today about which picture goes with which words. I'll teach you two new words tomorrow. All right, kindergarten, here is your first word this week. It is architect. Can you find a picture of someone or some people who might be an architect? Architect. Your next word, kindergarten, is electrician. Electrician. Can you find a picture of someone who is an electrician? Your next word is plumbers. Do you see any plumbers anywhere? Do you see any plumbers anywhere on this board? Your next word, kindergarten, is painters. Do you see any painters on this board? Hmm, painters. I wonder what their job might be at a house. Your next word, kindergarten, is landscapers. Landscapers. Do you see any landscapers? 
And your last picture, kindergarten, is movers. Do you see any movers on this board? Any movers? All right, kindergarten, now that we've made our guesses for which words go with which pictures, let's go read our story for this week. Your story for this week, kindergarten, is The House That Tony Lives In. Our author is Anthony Lorenz, and our illustrator is John Sanford. We're going to read this story right here today because this is a huge book, and sitting in a chair can be a little tricky. So, here we go. The House That Tony Lives In. Make sure that you listen for all of those new words that we just said. All right, here we go, kindergarten. This is the architect who drew the plans for the house that Tony lives in. Architect. These are the drivers who delivered the supplies to build the house that Tony lives in. What are the drivers? These are the construction workers who built the house that Tony lives in. Oh, this is exactly what Mr. Sam's house looked like. That is so cool. These are the electricians who installed the wires in the house that Tony lives in. I'm not even kidding, kindergarten. This is exactly what Mr. Sam's house looked like on the inside when it was being built. These are the plumbers who connected the pipes that bring the water to the house that Tony lives in. Ooh, I wonder what their setting is. These are the painters who painted the walls in the bedroom of the house that Tony lives in. Oh, check out this wall color. Oh, I love that color. It's very peaceful. These are the landscapers who planted the garden around the house that Tony lives in. It looks like they have some mums. Beautiful landscaping. These are the movers who brought the furniture to the house that Tony lives in. Gotta be super strong when you move furniture. These are the neighbors who live next door to the house that Tony lives in. Do any of you have any neighbors that live real close? Neat. This is Tony's family who lives in the house that Tony lives in. Check out their lunch. That looks delicious. This is the architect who drew the plans, the drivers who delivered the supplies, the construction workers who built the house, the electricians who installed the wires, the plumbers who connected the pipes, the painters who painted the walls, the landscapers who planted the garden, the movers who brought in the furniture, the neighbors who live next door, the family who loves Tony and the house that he lives in. The end. Wow. Lots and lots of people there, kindergarten. Lots and lots of people to, to build a house. That is a lot of people that it takes to build a house kindergarten and it's really cool because Tony gets to live around a lot of people so they got to celebrate when his house was being built when it was all finished all right kindergarten we are going to read this story again tomorrow and we're going to go slower and we're going to take our time and we're going to look at every person's job there's a lot of jobs and you can also think to yourself hmm, I might like to do that job one day all right kindergarten I owe you a warm fuzzy stay right there here is your warm, fuzzy kindergarten. That's two for today, two for the week so far. Keep up the good work, and I will see you guys later.